Today, I have a very beautiful thing to share with you all, and that's my encounter with the spiritual master and teacher, Omra Mikhail Ivanov, and the teaching of the Universal White Brotherhood. Perhaps many of you that are listening now have already met with the spiritual teacher and master, Omra Mikhail Ivanov, and the teaching of the Universal White Brotherhood. Or some of you are now discovering it for the first time. To meet with your spiritual teacher, your spiritual master, is an extraordinary event. And I encountered the spiritual master and teacher that has now guided my evolution and my life to deepen, to discover, and to share this extraordinary event that is in front of all humanity, the golden age, and peace on earth. So I encountered Omar Mikhail Ivanov in 1974 in Switzerland. So you can imagine as someone coming from the United States, that's almost 50 years ago. I was 21 years old at the time I met him, 21 and a half. And I had already started this spiritual journey of wanting to meet a spiritual guide. This was something that was very important in my life. And I think because of this cultural revolution that happened, you know, during the 60s, the late 60s, early 70s, this explosion of, of this discovery of love, of wisdom, of freedom, that I started inquiring deeply within myself the meaning of life, the direction of life, and experiencing very deeply what it is to connect with the universe and the creator, God, of this universe we're living in. So how did this event happen? was a remarkable story. For me, I didn't know anything about the Master Om Mikhail Ivanov. I didn't know anything about the teaching of the Universal White Brotherhood. I barely spoke the language in which he gave this teaching, for one always needs to remember that this teaching is above and beyond all an oral teaching. It is a teaching of revelation, of experience and of sharing what is essential, I feel, for all humanity to come together as one family. So in 1974, this teaching of the Universal White Brotherhood and all the lectures given by the Master Omar Mikhail Ivanov were, were in French. There, to the best of my knowledge, there were no translations given in English. So my encounter with this teaching was in French. And so how did this happen? So I had gone to Europe for music. I was in Paris auditing um, courses at the Paris Conservatory. And in me, there was born this feeling to travel, to hitchhike, across Europe, through Greece, and enter into these mountains, the birthplace of Orpheus, because mythology, Greek mythology, was so important to me. I was enthralled by the, the imagery, the stories, the, the, the life of gods and goddesses, and, and this interaction within the life of human beings, what that represented. And something, some force in me was pushing me to go in that direction. So off I went in early spring of 1974, leaving Paris, hitchhiking 
through in my direction to get to these mountains between Greece and Bulgaria. And I found myself, I think, from the start of my journey, maybe three days afterwards in Geneva, early morning, on the highway, um, hitchhiking. And lo and behold, the car stops for me. I get in and there's a, for me, an elderly lady, which was my age probably right now, since I'm 71. And this lady picked me up and said, where are you going? And I started telling her my story and she said, hmm, have you ever, ever thought about what it was like, what it would be like in your life to meet a spiritual master, a spiritual teacher? Someone that has mastery over not only themselves, but also mastery within this living force of the universe in which we're living in. And so I went, yes, this is, this is so important for me. I don't really have a connection to these Hindu teachers. I've read the autobiography of Yogananda. I've opened myself up to several other of the Hindu teachers coming from India, but I don't have a, a strong resonance there. I've, I've really resonated with the books of Ospensky, which um, illustrated the principles of the teaching of Gurdjieff, because it was a very active teaching that was taking place in a community and was working um, very deeply with understanding, love, wisdom, truth, the, especially the, the colors and the vibrations of the rainbow and the notes, and there was music and dance. This, this intrigued me. This was extraordinary because it was happening in the language of today. And so she said, I do have a spiritual teacher. Would you like to meet him? And I said, Yes. And she said, well, I'm going there now. Would you like to accompany me? And I went, yes. And so here I am, finding myself after with that in the mountains of Switzerland from the United States with long hair coming from this hippie generation, yet not really a part of it. Part of this enthusiasm and this freedom, this opening leaving the conventions and what the United States is, is offering to the evolution of humanity and entering into this world of spirit and soul. And so I find myself in the, the high mountains of above Veve and I enter into this center called Bidilenata, which she says to me means the invisible light. And I went, what do you mean by that? I've never heard that before. She said, yes, because there's a physical light, the light that we see, which is essential to maintain our, our lives here on earth. Yet that, that's a result of an invisible spiritual life that has, given, that has been given a name in Bulgaria called Vidilinata. And I went, oh, so this center, this spiritual center holds that name. So all this was, was extraordinary for me. And I, I understood at that time, even though I didn't understand what that meant, I really understood that this was an important encounter in my life. And so here we go, we go in, there was maybe 35, 40 people that were there. I go in and there's a place for me reserved next to her at the front table because I didn't realize it, but she was um, a very important person in this organization of this movement of the Universal White Brotherhood in Switzerland. She was the secretary of this movement and she represented the personal secretary of this time of the Master Ramikhail Ivanov when he was in Switzerland. 
So she had a place at the front table. She was also the musical director. So she was the one that would lead the singing. And so I had a place next to her at the front of the table. And she didn't really explain to me what was going on, which corresponded exactly to my nature. This is the magic of meeting your spiritual teacher. It happens directly in your way. It's falling in love. Falling in love is never the same for anyone. It's always different. So I can honestly say, 50 years later, I am still falling in love with this spiritual teacher and with the teaching that he gave, he represented, and is directing and guiding us to discover through our experiences. And so, everyone stands up. I stand up. The door opens, and suddenly this man appears, white hair and a white beard, and I go, oh my goodness. So all this is happening just like when you see the woman perhaps that you fall in love with because I'm a man, that suddenly time stops. And I go, I've seen this face before. And suddenly the memory comes up, probably a year, a year and a half ago. I was at sunrise and I saw this face come out of the sun, welcoming me that was so luminous, that was extraordinary. And suddenly I'm saying, it's that face, that face that I saw. Now, you need to understand that I had never seen this face before in my life. There were no English books. There was not the internet like today. This information for a United States citizen, since this teaching was given almost exclusively in Europe, was not possible. This was an amazing thing. And I realized deep within myself that this was my spiritual teacher, my spiritual master. And this realization is what has guided me for these 50 years. It's a constant reference in my life, constantly, no matter what experience, no matter what I am choosing in my particular uh, journey. It has completely been, for me, the most extraordinary gift possible that could happen. And so, for some of you that might be watching this video, that might be open to it, I invite you, if it was for the first time, what I can offer you is go deep within yourself and look, what is it to encounter for you yourself this spirituality, this guiding light, this love that goes beyond anything you can possibly imagine. What is that? What would that be like for you? What is that like for you? And then I invite you all to perhaps take a look at this teaching that the Master Om Mikhail Ivanov has given, that it is extensive now, it has been translated into English, it is available in many different forms. And for me, it's been extraordinary that I had this privilege and chance through hitchhiking in the mountains of Switzerland to encounter this being and have it, have it for me be the center of my life. Thank you for listening. Sie lasci vari sono